and all you have to do is bring it to boil one more time and after that we can start to make the rice noodle soup that is it guys this is how you make the broth so simple so easy from rotisserie chicken here I have some leftover rotisserie chicken and I take some meat out there's some meat on here as well and I'm going to use a chicken bone to make broth so you can eat it with any type of rice noodle bring four liter of water to boil now you can add the leftover rotisserie chicken mostly bones a little bit of meat so it gives the broth good flavor put everything here and everything in the bottom you can put it all in this will give good color to the broth and the ingredients that you're going to need to make this broth taste a lot better like the restaurant you can put preserved radish this one believe me it's going to make the broth taste so much better this one is daikon preserved or preserved radish and the package this is the package you can purchase them from any chinese grocery store preserved radish i'm going to put one piece medium onion cut in half two medium carrots white part of green onion as much as you like and now we can add all the ingredients half tablespoon of salt the preserved radish have flavor so you don't want to put too much salt and also rotisserie chicken also have a little bit of salt so put salt half tablespoon yellow sugar or brown sugar one tablespoon chicken powder one tablespoon and one tablespoon of fish sauce and you're going to bring it to boil about five minutes after you cook it on high heat for five minutes now you can lower the heat to simmer and you can cook it for 30 minutes slow cook it so the broth will taste so much better hi guys today i'm going to show you all the ingredients what you need to make rice noodle soup you will need rice noodle fresh one or the dry one if you choose a dry one make sure you soak in water at least 10 minutes so the noodle is softer before you start to cook it and if you choose the fresh one like mine you only need to rinse it and drain out the water and after you can start to cook it and i like to show you the big bag that i buy i buy in bulk it's way cheaper and for this big giant bag my family and i can have it about two three times so every time you take it out whatever left over you can put it back in the freezer this one is a bit frozen so it's hard for me to pull it out but it's come in bundle like this so if it's not frozen it's easy for you to take it out it come off bundle like that and it's about five six bundle like this so yeah you take it out like that and after you just have to rinse it rinse it so it's loose a little bit and after you can just let it drain in the basket and you can start to cook it after that is it after you rinse it put it in a basket let it drain the water out you can start to cook it right away and these are the other ingredients you need to make rice noodle soup you need bean sprouts you need some mint or some green onion or cilantro i only have green onions so this is what i'm going to put for today and this one is the secret ingredients that the restaurant use this homemade fried garlic will make the broth taste so much better this one is the best without this rice noodle soup will not taste that good with the fried garlic this one will make the flavor taste just like the restaurant the broth after cook it on low heat or heat 3 for 30 minutes now the broth you can use it to make rice noodle soup the broth here looks so good and all you have to do is scoop out the chicken bones and leave the rest in here leave everything else in here leave the preserved radish leave the onion it will give good flavor to the soup as you cook it longer you only want to take out the bones and there's some meat on the bone here we also can take that out as well leave it in here onion put it back let's see and also the carrots and small bone here you can leave it here for more flavor and now we can bring the soup back to boil these are the tofu cakes that you put in hot pot you can put them in here as well it will make the broth taste good as well and if you have kids it would be perfect because they love these kind of tofu cakes 
and all you have to do is bring it to boil one more time and after that we can start to make the rice noodle soup that is it guys this is how you make the broth so simple so easy from rotisserie chicken now let's make a bowl of rice noodle soup so i have the fresh noodle i'm going to put a handful in the boiling water put it in boiling water and cook it for 10 seconds after 10 seconds, you're going to shake off all the water. So this way, it will not make your broth less flavor. I also like to cook my bean sprouts. So put some bean sprouts in there. After you can put cilantro, mince, or green onion. I only have green onions, so this is only what I'm going to put. Like homemade fried garlic is a must-have in rice noodle soup. After, we can put some chicken on here. You can choose to put any kind of meat you like. You can put boiled pork, you can put chicken, and after that, you can put the broth on top. Now we can put the broth, and with the broth that we made, Put that in, carrot, eating time, now I'm going to show you how I make my sauce. For me to dip the noodle and all the meat and stuff, so I have some sriracha sauce. This is how I make it when I was in high school in Cambodia and I always like this kind of sauce. And after you can put some lime. You also can put some lime in the broth, but I don't like it. I only like to put the lime in my sauce and some sugar, about half teaspoon. After, mix, mix. Or you can choose to squeeze the lime and after, put the hoisin sauce. Sometimes I do that too, but this one really bring out my childhood memory. Now we can start to eat. Let me taste the broth. really good and I like to put sauce on here the sauce here is sweet sour and spicy 